International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies has reminded people to check on their neighbours, the elderly and people otherwise at risk. Well, for more, Elkan Rahimo from IFRC joins us now from Budapest. Thank you very much for joining us. So why has the Red Crescent made this reminder right now? It's important to consider that now volunteers from the numerous Red Cross societies across the Europe, they are providing the response. So they're on the streets, they're in the rural areas, they're in the cities, they're, they're seeing with their own eyes how the people are suffering. But talking about, of course, mostly about homeless people or the ones who are stranded on the streets or the ones who are in the vehicles we cannot move. So food is provided, non-food items, heated tents. The warning, because at the temperatures uh, on the low side, the most important is to make sure that the, the ones who can be left alone and ill, and especially the ones from the elderly alone group or the homeless people, um, they need to be taken care of. And it's done by the emergency response teams of Red Cross uh, societies in Europe and also volunteers who monitoring the streets and helping the authorities in order to take care of the most vulnerable. And what can people do to try and stay stay warm? Any advice there? Uh, of course, it's w one of the basic advices is to plan the trips very carefully, to have the, all the necessary stocks uh, for the trip. Uh, one of the areas, of course, we look, it's the rural areas which can be cut off in terms of electricity of, or, for example, if the roads are not accessible. But let's also not forget about the bigger cities where the people maybe don't know each other well in the neighborhood. And one of the advices, that's why we're putting the press release at, out, please check on your neighbors, where the people could be left vulnerable and maybe without electricity in the, at their home. At night, temperatures really go very low and very simple uh, caution of the call from the neighbor could be life-saving act. And what have you been up against in dealing with these severe weather conditions? Uh, one of the most uh, things which our teams are, of course, experiencing is the vehicles which are stranded on the motorways where the, the people just need very basic access to the warm water, warm food, and also when just need the heated tent where they can spend several hours. And another area is when you have the remote areas where the roads are cut off, and of course Red Cross um, staff and volunteers as auxiliary to the public authorities working together in order to reach those areas as well. And there is a Red Cross uh, teams in, in each of the communities almost all over the Europe. So we see the stranded on the, on the, um, on the roads uh, in terms of the vehicles and the drivers, elderly alone, sick who are at home and the homeless people. Well, thank you for that, Alkan Rahimov there.